Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot minute since I posted a video. Uh, I actually filmed this video yesterday and when I went to edit it this morning, um, I noticed how um, horrible it was. It was completely bleached out. I filmed it outside and the whole background was like super bright white and you basically needed sunglasses to watch it. So I'm re-filming it today. Hopefully this works out. I'm not the best when it comes to uh, understanding cameras and all the buttons and whatnot so fingers crossed this works out and i don't have to film it again anyway um i've been feeling a little bit unmotivated lately when it comes to um making videos and talking about holsters and all that i haven't ordered a new holster in a really long time and i just was feeling like i didn't have anything new or fresh to talk about so um i went online and i just googled holsters and to try to get some ideas and some inspiration and one of the holsters that came up an awful lot was the sticky holster. Here it is. I actually have never owned one of these before. I do own one from Remora and one from Klinger, which they all are basically the same thing, same kind of thing. So since I already owned these two, I just didn't think it was necessary to get the sticky. Uh, but I thought maybe it would be fun to make a video where I'm comparing the three in case any of you guys are on the market for a holster like this you might be wondering which one works the best so I thought I would just go ahead and order it and see what I think um, I paid for this with my own money I paid for the remora with my own money the clinger was sent to me for free for a review I have a review of this holster already on my channel. I'll try to remember to link it up in the info box above. For this video, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about all three. I'll show all three in a pair of, uh, what I'm wearing right now, I have on a pair of shorts that have a drawstring on them. And I'll also show them in jeans so you can see how they look and work in both kinds of things. These are all meant to be worn inside the waistband and you're not supposed to need a belt with any of these. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I forgot to mention that I got this sticky for my Ruger LCR revolver. I have the Remora for my revolver, but the Klinger is for my Glock 43. These holsters are so easy. You just put your gun in the sleeve, make sure it's in there really good. I tried to pull the trigger through the material on all three of these holsters and I was unable to do it. So let's go ahead and show you how this looks in shorts with a drawstring. I'm trying it with these shorts because this is what I have on today. These are like sweat pant material. They have an elastic waistband and they have a drawstring to make them tight. Um, you can put the sticky holster anywhere you want. It can go in the front like so. You can move it around and adjust it really easy. That's one of the things I love about holsters like this, how easy they are to move. Um, it goes in the back like so, like that. With your shirt down, that's how it looks. Uh, you can absolutely wear this kind of holster with drawstring pants like this. Um, any kind of pants work as long as you have a tight enough waistband. I had this on yesterday with leggings, like workout Nike leggings, and the waistband was tight enough that it held really well. I didn't like running with it though. I did get on the treadmill with the leggings and I ran with this and it would start to like sink down a little bit because the waistband wasn't really strong enough to help hold it up with the running. But if you're just doing regular stuff around the house, running errands, driving, walking, whatever, it stays put and it doesn't move. Here's the material up close. I'm hoping you guys can see this. It is um, it is a bit sticky, I wanna say. It feels to me like a marshmallow, if that makes any sense. Um, it does stick to your skin pretty well. Uh, it's super soft, super comfortable. It's like got a little cushion going on in there. Okay, here is the Remora holster. The thing that makes this one different from the other two is that this one has a reinforced top, so it makes reholstering a whole lot easier. The sticky is uh, really flat and it just compresses like this, but the Remora stays open, if you can see. 
The material is also different from the other two. This material is more like a tire, uh, more rubbery. Hope you can see how that looks in the camera. And the material is a bit thicker and tougher. I also forgot to mention that this gun is unloaded. As you can see, there's nothing in there. Uh, but yeah, same thing. You just stick the gun in the sleeve and throw it on wherever you want to wear it. So that's how this works. Looks like that. You can move around and it really doesn't budge. If you were jogging, like I said, I think it would start to uh, move like this because of the weight of the gun and um, you know the waistband. But if you're just you know doing normal stuff around the house, it's not going anywhere. Here's this one in the back and shirt down. And that's how it conceals. Okay, the last one is the clinger with the Glock. Same thing, just slides right in. Like so. Again, it just goes right in your pants. That's how it looks. You move around, doesn't move. And there we go in the back. All right, that's how all three holsters work in a pair of elasticy uh, shorts. I'm gonna go ahead and put some jeans on and I'll show you how that looks. All right, I'm back and before I show you how they look in jeans, I wanna talk about price before I forget. Uh, the sticky, and these prices were as of yesterday. I double checked all the prices yesterday. So the sticky was $29. The Clinger is $20 and the Remora is on sale for $17. All right, let's start with the sticky like that. So here's my jeans. I got a pretty um, good waistband on these jeans. Some of my jeans are more elasticy, I want to say, around the waistband and they feel a bit looser. And I don't think those are the best jeans to wear with a holster like this. I would wear a belt, but you know, if you have jeans with a, a nice waistband, there's no problem with this. So there's that one. Conceals pretty well, even under a white shirt like this. It holds pretty tight up against your skin. It's easy to draw, it stays put, it doesn't budge. Here it is in the back. That's how it looks. You might be able to see it a little bit, something sticking out, but I don't think anybody would know really what it was, especially if you were wearing a shirt with a pattern or a dark color or something. Um, but yeah, I think it conceals pretty well and it's really comfortable. And again, if you're like moving around, jumping up and down, uh, it doesn't move. Here's the remora. Looks like that. It's not moving. This is one of the first holsters I ever bought. I've been wearing it for a really long time. It still works. I still love it. And that's how that looks. And the last one is the Clinger. Like that. Again, this one doesn't move if you're moving around. Here it is in the back. And that's how it looks. All right, so what are my final thoughts on all three of these holsters? I'm gonna say they're all really similar. So similar that if you already own one, I wouldn't buy another one. If you have multiple different uh, carry guns and you just want to try a different brand, uh, you might want to do that. But 
yeah, if you already have a clinger, I wouldn't buy a sticky. If you already have a sticky, I wouldn't buy Remora. Um, I just don't see the point because they're so similar. But if I had to pick just one that I recommend over the others, I think I'm going to pick the Remora because I prefer this material. I believe this material on here is the stickiest. It has the best um, staying power. The clinger I've worn while I was outside doing yard work, and I mean like in 90 something degree weather where you get really sweaty. Um, once you get sweaty, it starts to slide around a little bit. I haven't worn the sticky in that kind of situation yet, but the sticky and the clinger are really similar in material. Um, this one is completely different material wise and this one sticks better when you're sweaty. Also, this one is the cheapest. So if you want to try out a holster like this, why not start with the cheapest one? Yeah, I think this one wins out for me, although all three are great. I'd recommend any one of them. I'll wear all of them. So I'm glad that I bought the sticky, especially since I can, you know, make this kind of video for you guys. Let me know if you guys have any of these holsters. If you have multiple of these, let me know which one is your favorite. Uh, hopefully I won't stay gone for a whole month again like I did before. June was just a crazy month for me. Everything's fine, doing good. It's just, it was just very busy. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll be back to filming regular videos here through the rest of the summer. Uh, I hope you guys have a great week. Fingers crossed this video turns out not crazy looking and I will see y'all soon. Bye.